yo, but say yo, yo, but say yo. Um, we're now day one of no longer getting our new account bonuses. So we're now managed to get to level 50. So no more powering up, no more love. As you can see, my mana has dropped dramatically. And the reason being is I decided to put some rune on Tetra that I farmed. And just to get these things scaled up, here's the uh, slot two. Let's go to slot one. Here's the slot one. Uh, just trying to get accuracy and uh, speed as much as I possibly can. Once again, slot two, slot three, slot four, slot five, slot six. So you can see they're not the best rune. Her stats give her some tankiness. And I still didn't get over the 55 accuracy that I was aiming for, but it should be good enough. But my speed for a beginner account is not bad. Not the greatest, but not bad. But it took all my mana because the minute you no longer get that 50% off when it comes to powering up runes, your mana goes like this. So um, we spent all day. Uh, we actually went down to like basically zero mana, literally 11 mana, 11,000 mana is what we went down to. We farm some more to get our monsters powered up. So this is where we are when it comes to the power up. We powered up Alicia. We powered up the Wind Beast Rider. So you got Alicia and Savannah that's ready to be six star. We also have a couple of Lauren, Vertahill. And you have to think, where are you in the game and what is it that you want to do? Like, right now, the common sense factor would say the next six star will be Vertahill and um, Lauren. That would be the common sense factor. So if you're out there, you're like, okay, I need a six star something. I have the ability to do two six stars back to back. And the reason why I'm just going to take my five star and do it right now is because this is the regret, no regret type play. I'm putting myself in a corner to where I don't chase summons. I'm putting myself in a corner to where I farm and I farm good runes. And if I'm chasing dungeons... I don't have the runes to actually build a dragon's team, and I don't have the runes to build a uh, giant's team, as it stands right now. So the mentality is, what can I do to make my giant's run effective? Savannah is the win unit. The giant's boss is a water unit, so therefore she has advantage. Savannah do uh, aerial attack. So that's a wonderful thing. The problem is, I don't have no runes for Savannah right now. Alicia is great for uh, Rift Beast with Alicia, Lapis, Sigmoris, um, Friend, and uh, Bella. I could easily clear Fire Rift Beast easily. I could easily clear them with that. I do not have any no issue saying I will easily be able to clear fire rift beast with them. So those are why I'm trying to go with those two right there. I still don't have the rooms for them. So I will have to make do with what I have to do, but I just did this video to show you my progress of where we are after our freebie is done and after we got to level 50. So without further ado, let's make some six star monsters. And this is the regret no regret situation. So here we go. Look at that. So funny because I have Alicia on my other account and I never six starter. her. I just use her as is where I was going. What I should have did was actually did um, roll up, believe it or not. But, and here's the regret no regret part because we only got two five star runes. Ah, show this hurting me. We only got two five-star rainbow mons, 
we did five star this uh dark grim which i would i don't even care about keeping i'm putting myself in a corner you know what i'm saying if you already went this far in the game keep them keep them keep them keep them and farm some more rainbow mons where you could do what you need to do but i put myself in a corner i'm okay with that and then my favorite right here is yaku he's been on lock but he's been a five star for the longest time Okay. Uh, I guess I got Yaku on defense somewhere. Uh, he is in something. So let's figure out what we have Yaku at. Siege is up. Defense. He's right there. Modify. Take him out. No. Let's put. Morris in there. Okay, complete. So there we go. Let's see if we have him in um guild battle. Defense. We do. Remove them. Complete. All right. So Yaku is now will be sacrificed for those who are cringing out there in the world saying no don't do it reconsider i did but this is me putting myself in a corner so i could just continue to farm yeah <sighs> from this day forward we will be free to play we will not buy any more anything else whatsoever i recorded earlier a video of me um doing the master pack and what i got but for some reason ear server went out on me doing my mid uh my middle of my recording so i'm going to have to transfer from tablet to probably blue stack because air server is killing me when it comes to video you put a lot of work in it and then you look over to realize that nothing has been recorded and because i'm looking directly at the camera i'm not looking all the time at the computer screen i guess i gotta move the computer screen directly in front of me in order to uh make sure i'm seeing what i'm seeing so that's something i have to do i have to re do my whole area to be a better youtuber but we have a whole bunch of uh, six star now. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six stars. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm working on Colleen right now because I want Colleen, the Cannon Girl, Lapis, Lauren and um friend to take on uh to take on the uh necro boss so that's what my goal is they don't have any runes i could put on them none whatsoever so i'm back to farming 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 until i can get me some runes to put on them so that's where we are right now that's where we stand uh there's a quick video of the day I'm going to spend the rest of the day just literally farming. And then on Sunday, we're going to tackle TOA once again, step by step. Um, I might not do a video tomorrow all because it's just a day of farming. There's nothing. I definitely need some harpy, harpoo. I need some harpoo because Colleen needs to get her skill up. And buying stuff in the shop is really taking a toll on me. Look at that. I'm down to 44 mana already. Sheesh. She missing two and uh two and bow. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. And so 
Now we're missing only three. And we get that when the time is right. Where I got my monsters to actually... As you can see, I'm down to only 75 monsters there. And in my storage, I only have 62. I literally just... Look at my look how many two stars I have left. One, two, three, four, five, five two star left. Five a bunch of ones I just summoned these right now. And I just been literally just leveling up two stars, making them three stars, leveling up two stars, making them three stars in order to uh get all the uh Monsters needed to get my level for uh, get my monsters to level six So that's what I did and hopefully you're doing the same thing Just take the time to sacrifice now because the sacrifice now will give you plenty of rewards in the future Okay, don't take your time trying to level up every Monster to five star because all you're gonna have is a bunch of five star pull and You're gonna be looking around talking about well, I don't have enough six star. I don't have enough six star look You got a monster six star it that's my goal. I deal with the consequences later. You know what I'm saying? There's always going to be regrets in this game. There's always going to be, oh, man, I fed this monster. I should have kept it because of two-way and now this monster is meta and all this other stuff. You're going to always have that. But if you have a game plan, and that's what we're talking about. If you have a game plan, you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. Just sticking to your game plan. I would love to fuse, take all those monsters I was getting and fuse my fire panda. He would be great for Rift. Not Rift, but for um, Necro, but I didn't. So now I have Yay. There's a challenge that was done. Okay. So let's end I know. Let's end this video with our event, because I know one of the event was to get uh, six star monsters. On treasure uh, treasure box and we got some keys we now have four keys to use so let's see what this give us you want mr. scroll what stop jeez 200 if you don't stop mana stone stop 100 energy so um one more uh we're gonna get them all every day all day any day and more energy so now we have enough reason to farm there's one mystic scroll there you go summon that so as you can see I have no summons I done spent all my unknown scroll down to five from over oh lightning that was unexpected that was really unexpected She is going to be good for giants because the giant cannot be stunned and the inflicted damage will be increased by 50 if the target is immune to stun. I could definitely use her in a giant's team. And she absorbed the attack bar by 20 with each strike. So I could take out Lauren and put her in. And she do continuous damage. So definitely, 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 definitely that swift set would definitely be removed from somebody and go into her. Do we have enough to all secondary awaken her? I mean, not secondary awaken her, but to just awaken her, period. We are short uh, some water. So we're going to be doing that tomorrow. There's no need to buy the water uh item that they give you because the most you can get is five high and even if you get the five high you're still short by three so you're just wasting crystals at that moment at time go ahead and just farm it
just go ahead and farm it. So we will uh, fight with Sue and make her into a speedy, speedy Giants team. So um, I will go to what my Giants team currently is one last time because I promise you after today, I will no longer be using this team. I will change it up and try to get something a little bit faster. So let's go over it for the last time. Here's the runes. This is the vampire set that they give you at the beginning of the game. Masik Morris, here's his stats. That's the one, the two, the three, four, five, six. This is my Lauren. That's the one, the two, three, four, five, six. Bella, one, two, three, four, five, six. And Shannon, on the despair set, one, two, three, four, five, and the six. And I'm averaging a uh, minute 46 runtime with this team. So I'm going to, at, at best case scenario, I could do a minute 30. At worst case scenario, I do about two minutes. Let's see what scenario this is. For the event, the four-star event, the four-star event, I use the whole four-star event to level up Lapis. I use the whole four-star event to level up Lapis. And all her um, skills went into skill three. So all her, she's only one short of getting her skill three maxed out. So once I complete the event, she will get the last, whatever she gets. Hopefully it goes right into it and just complete the skill three. But either way, She's powerful enough now to where she can do some damage. Why is it? I said before, air server is so laggy. Is it laggy? Oh, I'm looking at it right now. It seems like it's... This air server. I said before, I lost a lot of videos dealing with air server. So I'm going to have to download this onto PC and then use this on my computer because from ear server to the computer is taking too much time. So I will do that tomorrow. I will spend all day tomorrow redoing my whole PC to get that done. What? How did it kill? Oh, come on. With the slow and everything. Oh, everybody's at the same speed. I slowed everybody down, I guess. Yeah, I guess this is going to be one of them fail runs. Unless Lapis could hear right now. But he decided not to because he hates me. Unfortunately, Shannon is not powerful enough to do this. And this is why I'm re ruining everything. As I said before, it fails one out of 20 runs. But that's still too much failure on my part. Now that at this level, it's too much failure. I need something a little bit more consistent. And I need to ensure that I keep getting the runes because all I'm doing is farming. So I need to do a better effort with my time and I will be using a new team. So once I re-rune everything, I'll show you what my new team is and stay tuned to that video. I can't go out on a losing note. I'm sorry. I can't do it. The giant will die.
I want y'all to go tell y'all friends that this guy is horrible. His Giants can't, his his team can't even clear the Giants, and he's telling us to use his team. I could edit it out, but I'm not gonna edit it out because that wouldn't be right. I said before this game is so RNG heavy, like. You would do like so many runs and be like, oh, I got the perfect team. And then all of a sudden, you wake up the next day and your team get wiped. And you're like, what happened? Like, how can this team that could do so many runs not fail? And then you're fighting the same boss. You're fighting the same thing. And they just get wiped out so easily. Like... You saw how he did that one hit on Lapis and completely, uh, well, on Sigmaris and completely kill Sigmaris. Watch how he gonna hit Sigmaris like two, three times and Sigmaris live. And you're like, how is it that the RNG is so bad? You go one extreme to the other. You go from a complete wipeout to, oh yeah, we could tank all your hits. I thought we were safe on that one because we had the armor, the armor up from, um, Shannon, just like that. We thought we had the armor from Shannon. There you go. And then all of a sudden... Look. See, look. At first, nobody was taking... Like, <laughs> why is Bernard not? See, look, she survived that. Look, but yet still, they was getting taken out left and right last time. This is RNG, man. It's just RNG. This is what you got to worry about with RNG. This is what you have to worry about. This team went a minute and 26 one time, and now it does a minute and 50. So the RNG could go either way. This is nothing we could keep. But yeah, uh, thank y'all for coming on Young Ashamika, and we talk tomorrow.